Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I don't always have time to go through my Instagram messages, but every once in a while, you find a gem. This clip is full of so much percussion. Let's see what we can make with it. Brought it into Ableton. Let's cut this voice out from the beginning, maybe save that for later. What do we have? Let's see it with the video. <laughs> yes! So that's real fun, but I just... just want to make it faster. All right, also, I might layer in some of this uh, same loop, but pitch shifted to different places, because listen to how it sounds two octaves up. Now, let's just forget about this for a moment, and I want to work with that vocal part in the video. What does this sound like as a little, like, sweep? This could be uh, kind of a part at the end of the loop that just... You know what I'm talking about. Like that. And what can we do with the rest of this? This is fun. Okay, now I'm gonna take the most tonal part of this voice. I've chopped out the two parts that I think are the most able to be turned into instruments. Let's put them into samplers. So right here I've taken this tiny little piece. And if you lower that, you got a nice bass sound. This last sound I want to work with comes from the very beginning of the file. You hear that? Does that sound like a flute to you? So if you look here, what I've done with the sample is put the sustain mode in forward and reverse, which means that if you hold the note down, when it gets to this section, this little loop brace, it'll just keep on playing that forward and backward. You can kind of see it. And so that allows me, when I'm playing longer notes, to have them sustain rather than just chop off like the original length of the sample. I think it sounds pretty good for taking one tiny little sound of a woman's voice in the background yelling at her kid. Now let's add back in the lower percussion stuff. You've been hearing it at two octaves up. I'm gonna mix it in with one octave up and the original pitch. This is Andrew from the future. You already know that this is an episode of super fast beat making. I wasn't thinking about that when I started it, but it totally fits with the series. And it turns out the clock on my laptop was visible in a couple of those shots. So we started at 1235 and that last part I just showed you where I was bringing the drums back in, it was 135. So it was exactly an hour to do that. And uh, here's the finished track after I've uh, arranged the layers. <laughs> If you haven't already heard, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm partnering with a few of my favorite companies to give away thousands of dollars worth of pro audio, synth, and camera gear. This is something I do a couple times a year just to say thank you guys for watching. I know music gear is not always the most affordable or accessible, so I wanna be able to hook a bunch of you up with quality stuff, stuff that I use a lot. It's really quick and easy to enter. There's a link in the description. And I'll put a card up wherever those go. This is open to anyone in the world. It doesn't matter how old you are or where you live. If you have an address, we'll find a way to get the prizes to you. 
Also, if you're one of my supporters on Patreon, you're automatically entered. I am drawing one winner just from Patreon. Winners will be drawn at random in the first week of January, and they will be announced on my Instagram. Very important. They will be announced on my Instagram. There's always confusion when I do these giveaways. That is where it's going to happen. Go follow me there. I hope you like this video. Hope you're subscribed. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>